Corin. Hmm. Yes, I, I see, I see, I see. That is a six-lettered name. I bet, I bet you knew that, but nobody ever talks about this type of stuff in analyses. I wonder why. Do you think Faye is going to shut down soon? Because usually they try not to touch anything that starts with male in anything, but... You know, uh, I guess they had to release them eventually since we got Robin the year before and I mean all the other ones like four years prior I guess but hey you know what better like than never and now he's a legendary unit and not just any legendary a uh, fire legendary like fire emblem like the game and and the series you know like one of these games you know that one the fire emblem the fire emblem uh let's see let's see okay um he has Lots of text. Okay, so we know it's good just by that alone, right? Because usually if something has like more than a paragraph, it's probably going to be good. But I mean, better safe than sorry. You know, we should at least probably check what it does. Also, I'm not going to get over the fact that the special text is way longer than the weapon itself. It was the same thing with Emblem Mike too. I think it's just kind of why. I, yeah, I, I guess they could only stuff so much stuff in the weapon. I, I guess. I don't know. Anywho, uh, not to worry though, as somebody who can digest these types of things, I will use this pre-made graphic graphic because if for some reason I get anything wrong I can blame somebody else all right let's start with the weapon uh let's see let's see he has distant counter which means he can counter stuff like Takumi which is uh pretty good in my books you know not having to use a uh, day slot and you know if this were pre-skill inheritance uh he'd be pretty meta to be honest uh what else does he have he has uh stats he has damage reduction he has more damage reduction and he has even more damage reduction and water veins. Let's see. Okay, so water veins, water veins. Okay, so if he gets a special off, he could spread this terrain and it pierces damage reduction and it makes it harder for range units to get in. Okay, okay. So basically what you're saying is this is really, really good because, I mean, it has a lot of effects, right? So it has to be good, right? To me, that's a, <laughs> that's a pretty fire emblem the fire emblem it should probably be okay if he doesn't run into like a dual robin or any veil or any unit with a sweep effect or anybody with all three is there anything else i should really care about here uh skills right right those also exist yes the non-exclusive things that are most likely going to stay exclusive to him because i can't imagine a lot of people are going to be killing him let's see uh, he has speed res finish, yawn, 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 yawn. Uh, brand new, really strong dragon B slot that seems really worthwhile to grab. Yawn, 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 yawn. Uh, what else? He also has ploy, uh, which is also yawn, 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 yawn. Fuck you! Okay, to be quite honest, very frank, direct, strictly speaking, in reality, truth, and without question. I do kind of like it. I do kind of like it. It does take a more supportive niche comparatively to most other upgrades, which is kind of why I like it. It's probably not going to age as fast comparatively to any other skill that comes out and is really good. And then like a week later, we get the same thing, but better. I, I think this is probably going to be something that just kind of lasts for a while, especially since it does seem relatively decent for any sort of role compression. And it also means you don't have to give up any slots to use a specific unit now if you want anti-warping mechanics. Okay, well, kind of, sort of, because you also need a dragon. But if you're already using a dragon anyway, then it's not a big problem in the slightest. And you probably have some kind of dragon lying around. Probably. And if you don't, well, I don't fucking believe you. You know, you'd probably slap this on any sort of decent support dragon, to be honest. You have somebody like a dancer or any sort of Lilith or like an armor. You could probably make them a lot more supporty because of it too. You know, I mentioned armor, but you really think about this. You put this on any relatively good dragon armor and they could just become a worse Mur, which is still worse than Mur, but it is something you can technically do. Will you do it though? I don't know. Will I do it? I don't know. Usage wise, it seems like you'd probably use this against like Hinoka lines, you know, like all this stuff with charge and 
assault troop and stuff. You don't necessarily have to run like Ratatasker or Gatekeeper for anything like that. You probably have a mythic dragon lying around somewhere, so that probably works out if you want to give it to them. And then, hey, you look at that. Now you have anti-warping or something. Isn't that really cool? It seems sort of bad for Aetherade's defense, though, because, you know, it doesn't stop melee warping, which is kind of a big deal if you're going up against Gale Force team. So uh, I guess for what it's worth, Gatekeeper gets to live another day which is uh, fine by me, I guess. I guess for what it's worth too, you could also just shut down the regular guide and stuff, which is always going to be helpful because it's still one of the best C slots for any flyer, period. So, I mean, for any of the four people that play summoner duels, uh, hey, you know, it's a, it's not a bad option if you're running a dragon already, especially when that's a dancer. Although I guess that then begs the question of pre-fodder because I'm pretty sure you could grab ploy easily. Uh, and, you know, since we have five inheritable slots now, which, uh, Really cool, by the way. Uh, you could get High Dragon Wall. I don't also know why they really called it High Dragon Wall, but uh, it, it's kind of funny. It reminds me of that one number with the three digits. You know, the one that starts with a four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that that one, that one, that one. It's really, it's really, uh, it's really funny. It makes, it's making me a uh, haha chuckle. You know, like a little bit of tee hee and a bit of raffle raffle and a uh, lee mao lee mao and all that. Whatever, whatever other. Uh, comedic sound kind of fits that uh and then you have speed rest finish but nobody really cares about that one so i don't really care and neither do you and honestly truthfully legit no cap for real real talk who cares about corn and i say that because and hear me out listen use your ears tune me up or maybe not maybe too loud already maybe turn it down or well, i mean you got to hear me anyway we got emblem marth and emblem ike which is uh really 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 good share to be honest there are just a lot of really good things on this banner generally speaking except blue i'm looking at that thing over there i don't know why you're here go away but uh yeah he seems cool enough for what it's worth but would i pull for him i don't know would you pull for him i don't know i do kind of want some of these units though because the selection is really really good oh thank you Fucking dick. but yeah in conclusion uh you still have to fight two other units to get him if you're really trying to sign for it so for anybody trying to fight that share i wish you the best of luck but i mean to be fair alir has pretty decent fodder and lucina is always a good unit she has good fodder and she could dupe stuff so you know what? it's not too bad or i guess you could buy fey pass which will more or less allow you to just pick him up at 40 summons but listen i'm not getting sponsored by them i don't really care in fact you know what? i'm not being sponsored right now by fey pass or fey in general don't buy any of it uh product bad uh don't consume product consuming product bad uh but you also know the moment i get sponsored by them which will never happen i'm gonna flip this 180 and i'm gonna be like uh consume 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 buying orbs good financial security bad uh here's a four star png yeah he doesn't seem too shabby though so uh yeah okay go for it i don't know uh do you want corn go for it if you don't i don't really care and neither should you dick